Hey guys, it's your homeboy, the one only Great Dane, back with Brawl Stars. So today I just wanted to do a um, quick discussion about the new character Surge in Brawl Stars. As you can tell, I've been playing him quite a bit. I unlocked him just two days ago, but I didn't start using him until today. So a first piece of advice is you'll notice that it's a double token weekend. I would definitely recommend raking up your characters on a double token event because ranking only gives you a certain amount of tokens. Like you can only redeem one per rank even if you go down in trophies and then back up. So if you get double that amount and you rank up your brawler all the way to um, like 20 or something, you're going to get twice as much as you usually would and that adds up to like a whole brawl box. So and uh, that, that piece of advice is out of the way, if you're an elite tribe like I am, this is my uh, favorite map for ranking brawlers, and I'll show you some gameplay and why. So, my first look at Surge is he is very triggering. So he is a protector with a penchant for parties. Surge attacks foes with energy drink blasts that split in two or on contact. His super upgrades his stats in three stages and comes completely with totally awesome body mods. So let me show you some gameplay. So obviously I'm going to try to show you a match where I win. So this match is interesting because this one sprout <laughs> is very triggering. He was a max level sprout as well. So I absolutely destroyed that more just there. So when it comes to using your super, I'd say the first two are probably the most important if you want to do really well while playing as Surge. I think the third upgrade is kind of negligible because having your attack split in different directions upon hitting a box or brawler isn't necessarily the most useful, especially in solo showdown, because you're mostly just going to be hitting normal shots for the max amount of damage anyway. So as you can see, that uh, Mortis almost considered throwing his bats on me to kill me, but I think I would have survived anyway. So I have an intense fight with this uh, Johnny over here. <laughs> Johanny. Oh, I hope Matthew28YT watches this video. He's always getting on my case about how to spell Johnny. Well, look at how this guy spells Johnny. <laughs> yeah, so I, I dabbed pretty hard on this guy. <laughs> he almost got me, though. Okay, so this is my favorite map, because if you stay in the top right or bottom left corner pretty much the entire match, you're almost guaranteed to make at least top three, because everyone's pretty much dead by the time you just jump into the match. So I don't know why, but this Nani decided to pretty much annihilate himself for me. I mean, he was still kind of trying. He might have killed me with the peep, but the storm was uh, a little too much for him there. But yeah, guys, this is how you <laughs> how you feel when you surge. But overall, I think this is a very fun to play character. But it can be tough deciding when to save or use your power ups because it is worth damage and it can be used to dodge an attack. I'll just show a quick bit of gameplay. I'm sure you guys, if you play Brawl Stars, probably already know how Surge works anyway. So, I'd say he's slightly faster than 8-bit probably, when he doesn't have his first super. After the first super, he honestly goes as fast as BB, pretty much. So as you can see, his super also does 1-5 damage. However, if you're in the air, say like Brock is shooting at you, you can jump right over a rocket if you time it perfectly. 
So you'll notice that he has a split shot upon contact, but that's not entirely useful in solo showdown because most of your shots aren't going to be hitting multiple things at once. It's really only useful if you're attacking boxes, which is why I think this third upgrade is kind of negligible because you get this crazy split shot here, but this is pretty much never useful unless you have an entire team of brawlers, say, and gem grab that are grouped together. That's not really going to do you that much good. So I would say get the first two upgrades and then save the second one as a counterattack. And that's probably your best strategy if you're looking for ranking up your brawlers. I think so down is the best way to rank up your brawlers. Um, it, it does depend obviously a lot more on you as the player to not be a meme and get yourself killed in the first few seconds. My advice is to remember that the point of Solar Showdown isn't to get power cubes and it's not to kill other brawlers, it is to stay alive, so you must do whatever it takes to stay alive. And if that means hiding in the bush the entire match, then that is what you have to do. But if you don't want to take it seriously and just have fun with the game, I totally understand as well. So, again, tell me what you guys think. <laughs> what is your favorite brawler? I'd have to say my favorite brawler in Brawl Stars right now is... Mr. P. I just like having the porters chase after players. But I definitely think this is probably my second. I I mean his catchphrases are just really triggering. But thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. And Matthew twenty, I'll spell Johnny however I want.